Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is an early look at FSG Modding's map, Chainsaw Valley. So this is a very cool map and I'm uh, just hopping on it. I haven't taken a look around too much, but um, this map looks <laughs> quite honestly pretty stunning. Um, this is kind of our first like forestry farming mixed map. I mean, it's there's only been a few maps out and this one has been submitted. It's off to Giants for testing. So hopefully you guys will see it soon, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look around it. Uh, first off, thank you to FSG Modding for sending this over to me to take an early look at it. I'm very appreciative of that and I'm very excited to take a look on it. Um, they did note that there are 100 collectibles on this map. If we go in here, We'll see 100, 116 it looks like, over 100, over 100, they said over 100. So over 100 collectibles, 116. They said that there's different sets and the one that will pay you the most is there's four chainsaws and they said that the four chainsaws on this map, um, there's gonna be one of each brand. So you're gonna have a still, Husqvarna, Johnstead and Mikolo on the map. And I probably pronounced some of those wrong, just ignore me. But anyhow, uh, we're gonna take a look around here guys. So um, we're in new farm mode here. So we'll hop in here, we'll go up to the map uh, to take a look on here. In new farm mode, you start off with this little plot of land here with field 11 on it. Um, but look at this river going through it. Oh, it looks awesome. There's little farms around, and then you obviously you can do forestry all over the place. Um, different values there, 1.2 for that. Then you have some smaller ones, 204, 285, uh, 175. You can buy all of the peripheral area for $0, which is very nice. You can't buy this area we're at the shop, so that's the only one you can't, looks like that's the only area you can't buy on the map. Um, and obviously you can't go past the edge, but yeah. Uh, oh, there you go, Chainsaw Valley by FSG Modding. Um, so there you go. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go and take a look around here. So we're at the store right now, we're down here. Uh, what we are gonna do probably is walk up. We see we got some starting equipment setting up over there. We'll take a look at all that in a second. Um, we're probably gonna start here at the shop, look around here, we'll walk up there, um, probably loop back down around here, and then we'll walk up this way. Um, actually, we'll probably hop on a truck and take a look around, drive down this way, um, drive across over here, head over to this, and then I'll probably put a cut in, get us back over here, we'll take a look at the fuel station, then we'll do a flyover of the map just to take a look at everything. Uh, so going through here, um, I have seasons on right now, but it doesn't really matter as far as the map tour goes. Um, sell points are kind of more difficult to see on here now, so we have Johnson's Farm Market, it looks like. Um, let's see if there's, ooh, no place for grapes or olives. As of now, of course, you can always place your own cell points. It's super easy um, now with all the built-in placeables and everything. Um, let's see if there's anything other than Johnson's Farmer Market. Any of these, yeah, it looks like they're everything, it looks like just about everything's going to the farmer's market. Uh, yeah, it looks like just about everything's gonna go to the farmer's market. Is there anything else we got? Johnson's Farmer's Market. Yeah, we got the sawmill up over there. You need that, of course, in the field point. It looks like that's everything that really is on here. So uh, yeah, let's take a look around the shop here. Well, actually, you know, before we get into it a little bit further, let's take a look at what we start off with. So you start off with a John Deere 4755, 7810, and the Massey Ferguson 3670. We also have the Deutz Far Top Liner 4090H. We have a Lizard Pickup 1986. We have, um, on the trailers here, we have a Welger DK115. We have a header for our Top Liner. We have a cultivator there, the Rebe EG39. We have a cedar here. We have the uh, Nordsten uh, HK25 plus NS3030. Then we also have a header trailer, and we have a couple of weights in here as well by Tanwinkle. So there we go. There's all of our starting stuff. Let's take a look around here. Um, if I just speed myself up a little bit so we can walk a little faster. Nice shop area. This is going to be where you're going to access your trigger there to get into the shop. It pops us back out there. Uh, very nice. This map looks really good, actually. I've never... I just... Everything just looks so much crisper in FS22. It's just, I'm just still getting used to it. Does it open up? No, I didn't figure they would. But you have your repair trigger there. So um, yeah, let's actually put the, the map down there in the bottom corner so we can kind of keep an eye on what we're doing. So yeah, that's that's the shop area essentially. You got a couple buildings there. Um, we'll work our way up the map here. Now again, we have the nice river here, which gosh, it looks so amazing. I didn't even know. I don't think I knew that you did. I'm sure that's got to be not this map related. I'm sure every map's got to have that where you jump in and it makes a noise. I could be wrong about that, though, but that's awesome. I never noticed that before. Um, here we go. We got a little fire department here, of course, as you need. Forest here. You got lots of trees. Fires are bound to happen at times. What do we got for science? Speed lamp 50. I love it. I love it. It's so well detailed. We go across this little bridge here, and again, you got 35 mile per hour zone. You got a field here, field 20. This looks just so amazing. I need to slow down a little bit here for us, but nice. This goes right over, and this is kind of our starting farm area, not field 15, which is right there, but we go up into here, still speed them at 53 here. Uh, truck crossing, yep, here's our farm. We got a little, like, little creek area, like a little drainage ditch type thing going on. Oh, I hit the wrong button there. Just ignore me for a second. I think that turned them all off. Okay, there we go. 
So yeah, all of our stuff is parked. I'm gonna slow our speed down here. So all of our stuff is parked in here. You got this nice big shed area. Truck over there. Ooh, what is this here? Uh, you don't have any, oh, this is the animal uh, trigger as well. There's your uh, animal dealer right there. Harvester out here and here's our one field, field 11 for us. And that's what we got going on. Is there a sleep trigger? I don't think there is. Yeah, Larson's Loyal Livestock. Yeah, so we, we start out kind of owning the animal dealer in a way. Uh, but yeah, very cool. There's a silo over there, which I'm going to go. Do we own that? Is that all part of our land there? No. Well, if we bought that, is there a silo on that? I don't think there's. Uh, is there storage for anything? No. So, well, maybe not. Well, let's go up to the top here. No, there's not. What if we bought that? I don't think it's actually going to work, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll buy that. Go back into here. Yep, no storage. So I didn't figure it would work, but. Yeah, a little uh, grain area here and a little silo looking thing back there. But all right, let's hop in the pickup truck. Um, that'll be a lot better to drive around in, I think, and take a look around the rest of the map. So yeah, well, again, we'll hop through everything and uh, then take a look, see if we can't find, or uh, then we'll do a flyover at the very end. And we actually should try to find one of these collectibles that's around the map. Aha, there's one right there. So there are nine more cows to be found. It's a thousand bucks for that one. So yeah, there's just an example there, what the collectibles will be like, everything like that. Very cool. All right, let us move on out. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll head up this way. I'll zoom us out so we can kind of give you guys, you guys can see a little bit more about what's going on around the map around you as we're driving through and taking a look at some stuff on here. Cut over this way. And again, we'll do a flyover at the very end to take a look, gosh, the guardrails, everything just looks so nice. There's a log floating in the water. I love it, we'll head this way. <laughs> Oh man, I just love it. Gosh. Part of my excitement might be this is my first time playing farm sim after getting off my work week. So I'm just excited to be back on the game too. But here's the, the farmer's market here, Johnson's Farmer's Market. We'll pull right around to the back here. Nice, nice, nice. There's the sell points back there. Beautiful. All right, we'll get back on the main road here. Fire hydrant right over there is kind of cool. Hey, I like that there's little fields, and obviously you could do some forestry work to expand beyond that. There are some pretty big hills, though. We'll take a look at some of that, too. But yeah, you can do just kind of a nice mix of farming and forestry. And if you wanted to start with, like, um, start from scratch mode or something and not have any equipment or sell all your farm equipment, you definitely could do that as well. Yeah, nice road going through here. like all the textures and all the way the bushes and the trees and all that stuff kind of blend and look together on there. Hop across this bridge. Oh boy, too quick, too quick. All right, well, we'll back, we'll back across the rest of the way across this bridge. We're gonna head down that way here. We'll just get off of the bridge without going that fast, hopefully again in the future, so we don't do any more jumping. Uh, we'll head down this way. This is gonna take us down to the sawmill, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let's take us down to the sawmill, which is down here at the end of this road. But you can see kind of on the map there, we started up over there um, by uh, kind of on the crook of the river, the hook in the river there, um, just below field 20. And we worked our way up to the starting farm near field 11 and 15. And then I'm trying not to hit things. And then we worked our way across that bridge, headed past field 12 and Johnson's Farm Market. But um, now we're down here at the sawmill. So here we go. We hop out. You can purchase it right here if you like to, $100,000. Got your sell point here and your other trigger here. And then you got your wood chips over there to get them out after you're doing production and whatnot. Uh, but very cool. If you didn't know that regarding uh, sawmills, that's how you get your wood chips out from production is to drive over to the wood chip pile and then you can fill up over here. So uh, very cool. And we got some storage here if you wanted to use it. A little, we got little, like little forestry roads and stuff. Oh, there's another collectible. We got to hop out and grab it. I'm hoping we see one of the uh, chainsaws, but since they're uh, so hard to find, they would, that'd be cool to see one of the chainsaws. But since they're uh, supposed to be the hardest to find, I don't think... Uh, I don't have any help. There's no one up over that air conditioning unit over there. Oop. We'll just work our way across that by running it over. Oh, that's awesome. I like that there's placeable or collectibles on the map. I'm sure they'll probably be... I mean, some of them could be just out in the woods. I mean, this it could be really hard. I was thinking, about to say it might be easy because there's not as much stuff on the map, but it could actually be really hard to find the, uh, the collectibles on this map just considering the amount of forestry and just the amount of space. But a uh, very large map, very good looking map. Hop down this way. Oh, easy does it. There we go. Um, this will take us up here to field four, which if we're looking at our map here, we're gonna cross at this bridge, and then we're gonna just kind of hook around to, um, gosh, what is that right over there? That's the, oh, the gas station. Take a look at the gas station here. 
and then we'll uh, hop out of the truck and do a bit of a flyover before we wrap up the tour. Here we are. The gas station. Just like that. Beautiful. Here to get your fuel here, folks. But there you go. And look at that. There's another collectible right there. Gosh. There we go. Got it. Okay. Perfect. I just have to. You see one, you have to grab it, you know? There's a chainsaw somewhere around here. There's another collectible there. There seems to be a lot, like, higher, high concentrations of them around. But, uh, gosh, now I'm just on the, the hunt for one of those darn chainsaws. Would love to find one. Love to find one. Anyhow, okay, let's go ahead. Maybe we'll see when we're doing our fly over here. Um, let's go ahead and put ourselves into fly mode here. Go up, and then I'm just going to give us some speed. So it'll be a little bit quicker to get across the map. Maybe not that much speed. So, yeah, up through here. I'm going to leave that map down there so we can take a look. So look at this. There's a boat going through. Just details like that are fancy. There's no one driving it. Actually, it's a ghost boat. It's kind of scary, actually. I, <laughs> I got to put a person in that, I think. Are the logs moving? They are. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love that. Oh, they just need uh, someone to drive the ghost boats is all they need. <laughs> the edge does seem a bit abrupt, but regardless of that, I mean, look at this. Oh, we're stuck. We're stuck now. We're stuck. We're stuck outside of the map. We'll get back in, hopefully. Go back up. But yeah, so you can see kind of the we are actually stuck outside of the map. Oh man, let me hop back up over to the gas station. There we go. Okay, so we saw that valley through there. Very cool. Very good looking. Um, oh, I just love the little rivers and everything they got going on in here. Got little houses out here. This is the sawmill that we were driving out to. A little field behind. Is that a field behind the sawmill? Yeah, field 21's back there. Fork in the river there. And this just looks like legit forestry area. And it's not too crazy. I mean, you could farm this if you wanted to. I know these hills seem a little wild, but gosh, look how beautiful this map is. It feels like a real... It just feels like real terrain. It looks like that. It just looks awesome. The mix... I just love how many trees there are too, especially in FS22. I mean, this looks like a real forest. Like, there's just a bunch of different trees. Now, I know there's some forests that like, you know, evergreen forests and stuff where they're all the same tree, but... I don't know, something about this just looks fantastic. It looks amazing. I love it. Coming down here, this is uh, out to the end of the map there, and then coming through here. I mean, once you're inside the map, you don't really notice that you're, you know, I don't know. It just, it's great. This is amazing. There's our starting farm there. Oh, we got a little, this guy right here, is there, they're giving me a, oh, what's this guy actually too? I'm just like seeing, it's like squirrel, and then I jump over to it. Oh, there's one of the invisible ghost boats that's crashed there. There's something on the porch. It's a sheep. Okay, we're not going to grab that one. If it was a chainsaw, I for sure we'd grab it. Lookout tower up here. There's got to be something in here. But is it a chainsaw? Is the real question. Unbelievable. Is there anything in there? There may not be. Gosh, I really want one of those chainsaws. Anyhow, um, this map looks fantastic. Uh, the chances of me doing a playthrough on this are not bad, actually. Um, I really like the map. I think that I could do something similar to Willamina Forest on this one, um, where I did a kind of a build up from nothing, but this is a very cool map. There might be a collectible in here. That's kind of given us a good over... Not super strength is what I need. That's kind of given us a good overview of the map. We've flown around most of it here, so we've taken a look at a lot of what's going on. I think the only area we really haven't flown over is like kind of that, but... Let's take a look around in here and see if we can't. Oop, let's slow me back down here. Are there any chainsaws? My final, my final attempt at finding a chain. <gasps> we found a chainsaw. So there we go. Spoiler alert there, folks, if you weren't trying to find that. Thousand dollars for that. I want to know how much you get for the whole set, but there you go. I think that's a fantastic way to wrap it up. Just me finding collectibles left and right. Uh, but anyhow, guys, if you enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.